Welcome. STR Vision CPM is a beam enabled platform since 2012 and supports estimating and scheduling by using 3D models properties. The beam features make this process more efficient and reliable. First of all, you are going to see the QTO tool that is based upon the integration between the capabilities of automating budgeting from technical ERP and the benefits coming from reading and using one or more 3D model properties. This method strengthens the role of the construction project as an archive which contains not only data but also the design 3D models that can be organized by different disciplines or by the structure of the construction itself. We decided to develop BIM tools by importing IFC files. IFC stands for Industry Foundation Classes and it's a fully open BIM standard. IFC is the open extension used by many K3D BIM software and it has been defined and regulated by Building Smart International. Once you have created the project, in order to import an IFC model, select the IFC models link in the navigation pane on the left, or press the appropriate button on the upper ribbon bar. Press Add, insert a code, and press Import IFC file button. In order to view the model in the Beam Viewer model list, press Activate in the ribbon bar. The beam viewer, which is normally docked, can be moved on a second screen. On the title bar of the beam viewer, right-click and select Float, then move the viewer into the second screen or in another position. The beam viewer is organized in three main sections – Tools panel, Main viewer area, Properties panel, where you can find qualitative and quantitative properties of the 3D objects. The Tools panel has five tabs. In Tab Models, you can select one or more 3D models to be shown. In the Tab Unit of Measurement, you can map measurement units. In the Tab Tree, you have a navigation tree of the 3D model structure. In the tab Cut Plane, you can activate a Cut Plane tool. And in the tab Filter, you can set filter conditions based on 3D objects properties. If you select an object in the viewer or in the tree, you can read the properties in the different tabs, such as dimensions, qualitative properties, materials and the related openings. Let's move to estimate and activate the measurements grid. Open the beam viewer, click the model and press show. Once the model has been loaded, the tree will be displayed. Inside each floor, objects are organized by IFC type you can show, hide or isolate an object or a group of objects by right-click of the mouse, selecting Visibility, then choose Hide, Show or Isolate. In the Beam Viewer, you can navigate through the model. It is possible to rotate the view using the Shift and the left mouse button. With the mouse wheel, you can zoom in and out and by using Ctrl and left mouse button, it is possible to make a multi-selection of objects.
With the QTO module, you can work in many ways. The most intuitive function provides that added an item to the estimate and selected the object in the beam viewer, with a simple drag and drop you can fill out the detailed measures. The level of detail that you want to give to the final quantity depends on the user's choice that can simply select the value exported from the 3D object or can add a formula in the grid measurements. Among the advantages of the BIM process, there are some control utilities. With the Check Estimated Objects, you can get an overview of the objects, the cost of which has already been estimated, as well as, starting from an object in the viewer, you can filter the related estimate rows. Another type of control is based on the 3D objects that haven't been yet estimated. By pressing Check Unestimated Objects, you can obtain a customizable report of all the objects that are not linked to any row in the estimate. Thank you for watching this video.